Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to day two of our October Design Team Week. Today we'll have Dorothy and we'll have Sandra and they will be with us in picture form <laughs> right after I go ahead and make another page ensemble for the October Orderly Junk Journal Challenge. Let's go. Hi, everybody. It's Julie. Today, we're making the last element, okay? The last element, and that is our corner double tuck with mystery. And I want to use this Edith Holden paper because I think it has the perfect area right here for a corner. Um a quarter embellishment and so thinking of that um and then i also am going to want to let's see okay so i am thinking we have this I can fold this down. Okay, I can fold that down. And I can bring this down to where I want it to go. Okay, so I want it to go about here. Okay, so I think that that's going to be good. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that up. And I'm gonna come around and I am going to actually flip that up okay so there's that and then this needs to go behind here okay go ahead and glue this down okay glue that down Okay, so this is going to give me one corner tuck, okay? And then when I put this down, I can have this page that flips out over here. You know I like that. Um, I, like, I like flips. I like pockets. I love pockets. I love pockets, and I cannot lie. Um... My mystery on this one is going to be that this flips up and you have journaling space under there. Okay. And so we need to add a second tuck to this. I'm using vintage there. And I think I'm going to use this if I can. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come down carefully right here. Down. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and come across here. Let's go ahead and flip this. Okay, if it's there. Okay. We can go along right like this. I'm going to go ahead and pull this across. I'm trying to use what I have. Okay, so this is going to be my second tuck area. Um, now, to, to do this, you're going to have to pull out whatever is in here, and I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. 
So we're gonna go ahead and put this down. So adding this. Okay, and okay, now I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be a tuck, so we'll go ahead and we'll add glue right here and along here and across, and that's going to give us our the larger part of our tuck because remember it is a double corner tuck okay so there we go got our tuck and our tuck and our mystery okay so we've taken care of the things that that we had to have and now we're going to go ahead and um, do something down here that's going to okay I like that oh you know what we have we have beans and if you know what if I don't turn it into a Um, yeah, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to not turn it into a, um, I'm, I'm, we might have to pull it over a little to be able to fit the stapler in. Okay. Okay. So we're going to turn this over. We're going to come in up and under and give it a double goodie there and that actually should be able to, to take care of holding it okay you just have to be able to, to push it back down in and i think what we're going to have to do down here is we are going to have to um well, how far can we go Okay, I got it there and there, and I'm going to put glue under here. Okay. And that will hold my mystery. Okay, now, I really like these. I think we'll add those. We've got, we've got plenty. We've got the leaf, the staples, and that um, little label there and we're using it as a label and then we'll add this sticker maybe so I've got two places I'm gonna have to put something in here and something in here but I have several things that I need to make um, using em my embellishments so yeah, it's not usually this hard. So um, this this particular these stickers came out of were from Timo. Okay, the musical wrapping paper was a um, was a gift, and I could put that on there, but I just don't think it needs needs help out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Remember, we pulled out the lace. Um, yeah, let's put a, a little a little bit of lace. We could do that on the under. Yeah, I think we'll put it on the un on the underside, and um, 
Yeah, this lace, this lace is from a dress. <laughs> and I cut it, I cut the rest of the dress up um, yesterday. So you'll see it coming, coming out and being used. You guys, I thought today's video was already done. <laughs> and I went, oh, oh no. And um, our, we got a notice that our um, internet is expected to be um, possibly not on tomorrow part of the day so I'm like oh no I have to have this done and set up okay I had to cut I gotta cut this better well it'll that'll work okay so we're gonna let that dry but you'll be able to write here so that's our mystery and this can go underneath those We'll have some lace hanging off the edge, which now that I have this lace, we'll be able to put it in several places. And, you know, this is going to be ready for maybe a large tag. And we'll be able to put something when you open this up. We'll have a spot here. Now, on this one, I may come in and add a net a second pocket because a lot of times I, I like to do that on those but I think that this is going to be really cool and this is a fall journal so we've got two autumn here we've got October here I really love this page okay so a tuck here a tuck here um you know we have this but I remember I don't want to use this because it's it's in French I want to save that um, what do we have over here that we might be able to yeah so um, yeah but we're going to be making a whole bunch more uh... oh I like that I'm going to put that in there I can go ahead and maybe put a, a nicer um back on it or whatever but I think that that will be be fun in there that's from the um, fall flora and fauna digital I believe okay so we did it we have our page and now we're gonna go and talk to our talk to well I'll introduce you to today's design team members and show you pictures of the projects and tell you a little bit about them. So let's go. So for our first design team member today, I have Sandra. And you'll remember that Sandra did the boxes last time. So last month she she used uh, Dear Julie Julie Lace Grunge to cover boxes. And this month, she has sent a picture. She is going to be using frosted sunflowers and she is going to make a composition book journal using the whole digital. All the different pages, all the different things, and she's going to make all the things that you need for a journal. And she's she did she says she did it on a lap desk so um pretty cool she printed out the digital and used it so um so that is going to be really fun i forgot to tell you her little crafty tidbit okay so i've asked all of the design team members this month um, to tell us a little bit about their crafty area their crafty place and Sandra has said, after Tony and I became empty nesters, I took over the whole house for a crafting room. My son, Matt, made, made me a wall of shelves in his old bedroom. That's the basement. I do most of my work in that room. In the laundry area, I have a messy table set up and extra storage for supplies. 
In the two extra bedrooms upstairs, I have my sewing room and an office where I have my brother's scan and cut and my Epson Eco printer. I have a lap table that travels with me to the patio or the living room where I quiet or where I quite often have something to work on. I love every part of my spaces and I love to reorganize when I'm between projects. So she didn't have anything bad to say about her her um, crafty area. And so her information for her um, video is in the description box down below. Also her other social media information. And I'm looking forward to you seeing. Um, it was really kind of cool that she took a whole digital and she used that to make a journal out of a composition book. So something that's easily ac accessible and um, makes a great project. So our next design team member for this, for today is, I've lost, oh, there she is, <laughs> it's Dorothy. <laughs> So, um, Dorothy, you'll remember, she made, let's get her picture, she had done the ephemera holder, and so, um, <laughs> because she showed that ephemera holder, it got me to bring out my ephemera holder, and I used up all of my ephemera in my September um, journal that I was making from, that was in a, an ephemera holder that I had made. So thank you for that, Dorothy. So um, her information for that will be down below as well. So um, Dorothy got married, I believe it was in September. And so she made a very special journal um, to be able to put her pictures and her memories and things in and she used the dear julie julie poppies digital um i think i did tell you sandra used frosted sunflowers um and dorothy used poppies now if you see this right here she's gonna show you how she made that and that was her actual closure for her book and it's really cool so um yeah, so these are some of the pages that she shared with us from the from the journal she made. Here's a poppies page. And she's written, she's put names in and everything. And so I'm looking forward to I didn't get to watch her video yet. Um I just didn't have time. There she is getting married. Congratulations. Yes, it says September 2023. There's a 16 up here. So I'm going to guess it was like September 16th. So congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. And so there she is, our Dorothy. So both Dorothy and Sandra's um, information and the links to their videos so that you can see what they made um, is in the description box down below. So do go check those out. Do make sure that you give them some love, a thumbs up, and a comment, um, and uh, encourage them th on this journey that they are on, that they've stepped up to share themselves and their projects with you. I am so excited. So this was my last page embellishment or page ensemble that I needed to make. And so with that, tomorrow we'll be back with me making the cover for my October journal. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit full. There's most of it. I do have more than that. <laughs> um, but I, I'm excited to um, work to be moving on with that. 
and exciting to, excited to share Sandra and Dorothy with you today. Find something to celebrate every day. Come back and see us tomorrow. We're here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget that their information and the links to their, their um, projects are in the description box down below. And all design team, the digitals that the design team used for October are on sale for the whole week. They'll be on sale through the 23rd um, for 30% off. So do check that out. Uh, so we had frosted sunflowers and we had the poppy kit. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. And thank you, Sandra. And thank you, Dorothy. Bye-bye.